From Everfree Northwest, it's the game of three in a row. Get ready for laughs and gaps. It's Bridalwood Squares. And now, let's introduce today's stars. ACLP Films. Bobby C. Nora Mermaid. Silver Quill. Red Card. Sweetie Blue. Cosmic Keyframe. Lightning Bliss. And Nathanian. And now, here are your hosts of Bridalwood Squares, Princess Deadpool and Taylor McCardle. Hello, Everfree Northwest, and welcome to the debut edition of Bridalwood Squares. Thank you all so much for joining us this afternoon. We are so honored that you got decided to join us this afternoon for our first run of this panel, and I couldn't be more happy to be joined by the co-conspirator to Bridal Wood Squares than our very own Princess Deadpool. Princess, how are we doing? I'm alive, so I guess they got that going for me. <laughs> but uh, yes, thank you so much for agreeing to this insanity. I don't know what I did to even convince you to be a part of this, but whatever it is, I gotta remember how I did it again. Money. Uh, so, are you guys excited to play? All right, so just to get a gauge of things, how many of you have actually seen Hollywood Squares before? All right, so, all right, so for the few of you who don't know, uh, it's essentially what it is. It's pretty much a game show version of tic-tac-toe. So, but should we go over the rules now or pick contestants? We, we should go over the rules, but everybody should know how it goes according to the rules. That is correct. So, okay, so here's how it's gonna work. This is pretty much a trivia game, but here's the thing, if you are the contestant, you're not gonna be the one being asked, being asked the question. They are. So, for example, I'm gonna ask you an example question. Right. Taylor, what is Rainbow Dash's famous line? 20% what? 20% what? I believe it was 20% what? And if you were the contestant, you would, you would either agree or disagree. If you're right, you get the square. If you don't, your opponent gets the square. The idea is to get three in a row, just like tic-tac-toe. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> but what if there's a draw? What if three in a row is not possible? Well, now that also depends on how many, if you can get as many X's or as many O's as you can in our board here, that, that will determine the winner if you get the most X's or O's. I believe it's called a five square win. Five square win, that's yep. right. So, Ray plays a little bit of Bridalwood Squares. Wait, 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 real quick, real quick. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Yes. There's one thing we forgot to mention. What's that? You remember that famous line from this show? No. The one that we're not supposed to say? Yeah. Should we all get it out of our systems now? Okay, so. Wait, wait, hold, 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 hold. Yeah. Yeah, let, 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 let's, have, let's have Princess Deadpool uh, explain what uh, that stipulation is. All right, so I'm sure you guys are, are familiar with the phrase, you fool! <laughs> so we're gonna try to keep those to a minimum. Unless you're going for a win or a block, uh, there is gonna be no you fools allowed. Can we all agree to that? Because we don't want to run it dry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we got normal rounds, we got secret square rounds, we got prizes to win, believe it or not. So are you guys ready to have some fun? <laughs> then how about we get two unfortunate souls up here? <laughs> so Deadpool, pl pull up the randomizer. So if you signed up on the app, your name is on the wheels. <laughs> all right, so uh, I'll be checking the wheels. All right, all right sounds good. So you're going to be my next contestant, okay? So, for my O, here we go. Where it spins, nobody knows. Roll, please. Do, do I have cosmic somewhere? Hi. 
We're gonna we're gonna try that again. Oh. Pray to pray to <laughs> it does not land. All right, where is Master Cod? Master Cod. <laughs> Mr. Co Master Code. Master Code. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a codfish? It's Master Cod, right the king of bass pro shops everywhere. Everything you're seeing on screen right here, he put together himself. He did not have to. I didn't ask him to. He just wanted to. He is a unit. Give him your love <laughs> right now. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Uh, Y'all are too kind. Can I just say though, I do love that, I just love that I'm like the token human look thing <laughs> amongst all these I ponies. offered to put your pony up there, but you wanted to do I this one instead. Be, so. I wanted to be special. <laughs> <laughs> you brought this upon yourself. I know, okay. it's, it's just so. very funny finally seeing it in person. <laughs> all right, okay. we tried. All right, Lucky Flitter, tell us a little something about yourself. Okay, my name's Lucky Flitter. Um, I come from Portland, Oregon, and I am 41 and a half years old. <laughs> years young, you mean. Master Code, introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. I'm Master Code, Ace Analyst, everyone's favorite analyst and reviewer, especially Silver Quill. He agrees. Isn't that right, Silver Quill? Right? Yeah, yeah. See, so I'm everyone's favorite, and uh, so yeah, let's do this. Woo! All right, remember, watch out for their bluff answers. They're going to try and lie to you. But also, remember, this is a PG convention. Let us keep it safe. All right? We ready? Let's do it. Mm. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? You're the contestants. You, you do it. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, snake. One, two, three, shoot. Oh. Hey! All right. Scissors. That is your contestant. All right. So O's are first, just so I know for visuals. Wait, okay, hold on. Just so I know for visual purposes. Taylor is O's? Yeah, I'm O's. And okay. O's All right, cool. Got it. All right, so Master Code, pick a, pick a star. Cosmic Keyframe. Yeah. Everyone knows of AC, AC Race Best mental breakdown and Brody's react to Generation 3. But no one ever talks of, talks of his near repeat rapport, performance, that's easy for me to say, during the Brody's react to Season 6 finale. What, when, what happens? Uh, I, I, I mean, given the terrifying nature of the uh, Gen 3 special, uh, I would say when uh, Flurry Heart appeared. Okay. Do you agree with that or do you disagree? I mean, I would scream too if no, I saw it, that baby. Unfortunately, it is not. It was Keen Thorax's transformation. So, <laughs> so put an X. Oh, finale. So yeah. put an X next to Cosmic. And so, Lucky Flitter, you are now up. Next. Right, uh, the, there are five categories for these questions. It's going to be G4, uh, G5, the IDW comics, uh, G3.5, which we've seen playing uh -oh. kids for. <laughs> Sorry. G, G4.5, yeah, pony uh, life questions. Okay. He made those. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, fan, fandom trivia. Oh. So, all right, next question. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> all right. All right, Silver. In the season eight episode, Sounds of Silence, the only good episode of that season. Oh! Blasphemy! During the song, A Kieran's Tale, Autumn Blay sang about how she wrote a play parodying which real life musical? Uh, yes, that would be the Spider Man uh, musical. <laughs> in which everyone became seriously injured. Uh, yes, espe uh, especially those who say season eight only had one good episode. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually had the misfortune of seeing Spider-Man live on Broadway. 
my mom and I flew to New York and we saw Spider-Man on Broadway. Bless your heart. Right. But but yes. In, but in honesty, it was it was an homage to the Phantom of the Opera. Do you agree or disagree? That is correct. He's an X. X. Oh. It's always awkward when you We're think. We're X's right. together. <laughs> Master Cove, where do you want to go here? <laughs> bliss. Oh, Lightning Bliss. In 2018, a convention was held for one year only to help break the curse that featured GM Burrow, Vincent Tong, Bill Noon, M.A. Larson, J Josh Haber, Tony Fleece. What was that convention? In 2018. A BlizzyCon, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the Tong and Bill Newton's in one place. Yeah, yeah, that's BlizzyCon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My voice. <laughs> my voice are in the house. <laughs> Anyone got a spray bottle? <laughs> Don't tell if I said that. <laughs> it's okay. There's several cameras yeah. recording you right oh, now. No. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, but if I had to guess correctly, it would have been a uh, high roller pony con. Do you, do you agree or disagree with that statement? I yeah, that's correct. X is an O, both on the board. Glitter, where are you going? <laughs> going with Nora. <laughs> During, Nora, during Bronies React to Equestria Girls, Black Griffin does what two things to show just how bad a ship Twilight and Flash oh, Century is? Well, oh well, obviously, he flew to where I lived and we had an amazing night. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. no, 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 no. I believe, oh wow, so this is the Equestria Girls one? Yeah, during, during that reaction, he does what two things to show just how bad a ship Twilight and Flash Century is? Ah, uh, God. It's been a while. I, hmm, I believe he, ooh, he, t -t 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 gosh, uh, I believe he flew his paramotor, and I think he went scuba diving. Do you agree or disagree? <laughs> that is correct. Good, you caught it. I could say it. He, he. He was on Mount Fuji and he went skydiving. Like she would ever forget anything relating to that man. He backflips on Mount Fuji. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to fool them. All right, circle gets the square. <laughs> circle gets the square. Oh, was X it X gets the square. Okay. I am just great at my job, aren't I? Good, good thing I'm paying attention. Hey, hey, I, I was trying to fool people and it worked. Red card, you're not paying attention. Pick the next category. <laughs> All right. That's a reference All from right. Harmony Con. Master Code, where are we going here? Red Carp in the middle. Hey. All right. In Maine's Melody, Pimp accidentally makes an odorous hoof treatment that Maritime Bay turns into an online challenge. What is the name of the plant that that treatment is made from? Uh, uh, it's made from my socks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Um, uh, it's... Uh, uh, it's um, uh, the, uh, it's uh, the, the, uh, the the ingredient is uh, is uh, is, uh, is poison joke. Do you agree or disagree with that statement? All right, and, yeah, that's correct. It's steam Woo! thistle. Very well. Very well. Very well. I kind of uh -oh. thought that was it. All right, Flitter. Oh, no. The circle set up to win. You got to go for the block. So you got to go for AC or you got to go somewhere else. All right, AC, ACLP for the block. <laughs> this, oh. is where, this is where you fools are allowed. Oh my, okay. no. oh my gosh. Oh, and also, uh, it, just to clarify, if it's incorrect, I don't put anything on the square. <laughs> okay. That is correct. All, All right. right. All right. Cool. Here it goes. I remembered. All right, AC. While trying to make a gift for Sunny Star Scout, Izzy looked all over town for something round to fit into the gift. Posey was in possession of something she thought would work and chased her down for it. What was it? Ooh, goodness. <laughs> I wish I would know much of the episodes, but okay. Hmm. All right, just to make sure. Repeat the question again. One more time. 
While trying to make a gift for Sunny Star Scout, Izzy looked all over town for something round, round to fit into the gift. Posey was in possession of something she thought would work and chased her down for it. What was it? <laughs> yep. Uh, dang, if I know much about these episodes. Uh, I still am <laughs> trying to overthink, not trying to overthink this, but... Uh, uh, I would say one of one of the one of their plushies. <laughs> <laughs> Disagreeing is the correct answer. <laughs> yeah, uh, the answer was hoop earrings. Oh, all right. Oh. 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 oh no. All right, Master Code. Wh wh code, where are you going here? Oh. Oh. oh no. Yeah, there's two opportunities for X here. We're in a quandary here. Oh, no. Bad, bad choice. Bad Sweetie choice. Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had a 50-50 shot, and you blew it. <laughs> In the Telltale... Tale, 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 ah, I can't even talk tell, today. Tell, tell, huh? Tell your tale. Tell. The episode Philly Filling pays homage to a classic Disney movie. What movie was it? You say bad movies, but that would require me actually watching recent episodes. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I'm going to go with... Um, Pinocchio. Do you agree or disagree with that statement? Disagree. And actually, it is Cinderella. Oh. Love because it. It, it, she involves being, she gets stuck in a pumpkin, and she's in a pumpkin pie. Oh, so. oh right. Arr, arr, arr. Arr, 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 arr. All right. Where are you going, Flitter? I think we know where this is going. <laughs> oh, did he say it? You want to go with me? All right, you're going with Nathaniel, huh? All right. Okay. Are being summoned for something? What is it? <laughs> They're being summoned, Nathanian. All right. Okay. Here is your question. In the theatrical MLP movie, the writers somehow managed to slip in a nod to this popular board game. <laughs> Battleship. <laughs> Disagreeing was the correct answer. It was Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> Isn't that a five square win? That's a five, five square win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we move on to round two, right? Our secret square game. Yeah. Oh, wait. Well, not yet. You gotta, he's got to explain it first. Yeah. All right. So here's the deal. You, this is where you have a chance to win one of our prizes here. One of our squares holds a secret square. It's programmed into his board. If you pick it, you'll hear a noise. What's that noise going to sound like again? Uh, ding, oh, ding, ding. On. Like that. All right, so you'll know it when you hear it. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Let's get let's okay. this. Now, real quick, contestants and panel look away. For the audience's sake, the secret square is. All right. Okay, we're good. Thank you. My on <laughs> Place your bets. Yes, right. yes, yes right. I said you're good. All right, Flitter, you won the last round. Take your pick. Where are you going? Red card. Go in center square first. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Red card. At the start of the season two episode, Dragon Quest, Rainbow Dash told Fluttershy she had to watch the dragon migration with her because she had to sit through what with Fluttershy first? It's been a very long time since I've seen this episode. Um, <laughs> You're just adding extra work for me. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to go with uh, wa uh, uh, Watch Fluttershy take care of her cute animals. Uh, disagreeing is the correct answer. It was a butterfly migration. X gets the square. <laughs> All right, M Master Code, where are we going to go here? ACLP. In Princess Problems Part 1 and Part 2, 
Pinkie Pie is getting ready to enter Equestria's baking comp show competition in which Princess Celestia is judging. What is the name of that show? Ooh. <laughs> that show. <laughs> this is a, if you've been the Pony, oh, Pony Life, Life. Life. Oh, you oh, be no. paying attention. Oh. If I really, the only time I watch it was one of Taylor's panels. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Pony Life is magic. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, you said the game show, right? Uh, baking show. Oh, baking oh. show. Uh, <laughs> I don't even watch more Pony Life. <laughs> <laughs> I only watch your, I only watch your panels. That's what I get to know. <laughs> Y'all need to find help. <laughs> I don't know. Great, great equestrian big show. That's it. <laughs> you agree or disagree with that statement? Great equestrian big show. That is correct. It is actually what? the Royal Jelly Whoa. Juggernauts. Oh, yeah. I would not have guessed that. <laughs> Y'all need to sound more confident. <laughs> <laughs> You're making this too easy. <laughs> okay. Where are you going, Glitter? Uh, what? Cosmic Keyframe. Oh. No. oh, bless you. Oh, Hello. Hello. Oh, okay. Fandom related. At Everfree Northwest 2021, <laughs> the first con to return after COVID, an unexpected incident happened that forced people to evacuate. Oh. What was that incident? Oh. Someone coughed really, really loudly. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then everyone was oh. just, scatter! <laughs> uh, no, no um, I'm going to say what I, I think that happened at TrotCon, too. Uh, the fire alarm got pulled. Agreeing is correct. A it happened during game wait, set. Wait, 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 was that, does this count? Yeah, oh yeah, that, that, that counts, that counts. All right, X gets the square. There was an actual fire? No. What did you do? <laughs> There's only like two, sub, uh, three suspects here who would start a fire in a kitchen. You, no. them, and that guy. <laughs> oh, Cosmic, <laughs> if only you knew. All right, Master Code, where are we going? Bobby C's for the block. All right, for the block. All right, in the short episode, it's T-U-E-S day, Izzy made a new friend out of junk named Senor Butterscotch. While taking her new friend out into town, they went, to, went and saw which movie? Uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, it was Cats 2019. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that uh, at theaters. No, no, I'm joking. I can't remember the title, but I think it was uh, a parody of Transformers. No, actually, it was. Oh! You fool! You fool. <laughs> so, no, no square. X gets us. No, it, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was a block right, attack. Where block are you going? Yeah. Just, just so we're clear, you can pick the same star over and over again if you want the win. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> silver quill? All right, Silver Quill. Oh, and X gets a square! I've All got right. a secret, all right? I didn't start the fire. <laughs> since the world was turning. Okay. I didn't start the fire. Please don't sue me now. Wait, what's going on? All right, uh, what are we playing for, Nathaniel? You bought these prices for us. Would you like to showcase them? Oh, yeah. Here, here, here. Uh, <laughs> Take all six mice. <laughs> <laughs> since we're we're, we're being generous. Silver quill, <laughs> we have just too helpful a pony here. note notebook. Silver, would you like to explain what this is? Pony notes, an infamous and dark diary of immense power. For you see, written on the inside are some rules. Oh, oh. no. Chief amongst them, any human whose name you write in this journal will become a brony. Oh. oh! Okay, that makes better sense. <laughs> and there are terms and conditions for how, what kind of brony they'll be, the pony that they celebrate, and all manner of tomfoolery. 
if you wish. <laughs> Dear Diary, I hate Silver Quill. <laughs> Dear Diary, Blissey is so cute. <laughs> Today I met Neil Patrick Harris. Okay, just like that, Neil Where? Patrick Harris is a brony. Yay! Yay! All right then, here we go. All right. Silver. Hi. Peter knew voice Doctor Who since Slice of Life, but his lines were actually a placeholder in case who Hasbro wanted first wasn't available. Sadly, he was not. Who was he? Uh, David Tennant, because, and when he, when they asked him about being on My Little Pony, he said, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's correct. Oh my god, we could have David Tennant? Wow. Uh, oh, you missed out. Oh. oh. Wait, hold on. Please hold. Ah! Hold on, give me a second. Mommy! It's a derp. Do you guys want to know the weirdest part? Oh, that was a complete shot in the dark on my part. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I feel yep, like it was a so it was X. Tom Baker is a little loud. Uh, right. X okay. on ACLP and then zero on red card and cosmic. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yep. Yay, I messed up. Yay! You recovered greatly. See, we're not flawless. Don't we all? Not flawless. We're <laughs> works in progress. We got all right. All right, Master Code, where are we going to go next? We're going to Blissey. Oh, okay. Unfortunate. <laughs> all right. In the often overlooked G4 special, Rainbow Road Trip, Mayor Sunny Skies explains to the main six that the town, Hope Hollow, once went by this one other name before all the colors vanished. What was the name of that town? <laughs> <laughs> I love that she gets a rainbow question. Oh, that's, that's a good question. <laughs> if she doesn't get this right. Oh. I thought it was Hope Hollow. That was the original title. Wait, so what was the question again? <laughs> In the often overlooked G4 special Rainbow Road Trip, Mayor Sunny S Skies explains to the main six that the town, Hope Hollow, was once went by this other name before all the colors vanished. What was the name of that town? I don't know. I just watched this movie like last <laughs> month too. Oh no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're Well, for my name's sake, and because rainbows, rainbows, rainbows. Rainbows, rainbows, rainbows. Uh, rainbow Town. Where are we going to go with that? And that's correct. It's after, the name was The Town at the End of the Rainbow. The Town at the End of the Rainbow. They had a whole song about it. A weirdo, that too. Hey, um, hey okay. there, Lightning Bliss, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the it. town at the end of the rainbow. Yeah, the town at the end of the rainbow. The town at the end of the rainbow. I was waiting for you to go, oh, gets the square. Right. Okay, there you go. All right, Flitter, Pay where attention to the format. Bobby sees. Oh, boy. <laughs> for, for the block. Oh, for All the right. block. All right, Bobby. Yes. All right, oh, here we go. Applejack, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, and Twilight carry this trait that Rainbow Dash does not. Ooh, okay. Um, gosh, I'm gonna have to say not so being self-centered. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Um, something that Rainbow Dash does not. Um, I'd have to say uh, being, or er, growing up in Ponyville. That is incorrect. Oh. The trait is those other five have siblings. Oh. 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 That is okay. Can't give it to you. Okay. You fool. You fool. You fool. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Fluttershy grew up in clouds down, then she yeah. fell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Twilight grew up in camp. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Master Code, Who's who do you go with now? Sweetie Bloom for the win. For the win. So, Sweetie, 
Kathy Westlock's voice, voice of Spike is unmatched, but she has also voiced two well-known background ponies that made appearances throughout the show. Name them both. Lyra Bond. <laughs> Lyra Bond. <laughs> you agree or disagree? That is correct. Okay. It was Mayor Marr and Coco Pummel. Oh, okay. So, circle wins, right? Circle wins, so. You're welcome. If only um, there was a third round. <laughs> well, how about that? There is. Wow. And, and there is another, this is another secret square game. So please, cover yep. it up. Let's see who this secret square is going to be. <coughs> the secret square is. Okay. We're, we are set. We're, we're clear. Y'all can so uncover long. now. Actually, uh, <laughs> Hold on, Master Code, you won the last game. You get to go. Oh. All right. So, Master Code, you won the last game, so you get to go, you pick first. So red card. Red card. Red card. Red card. Right, I hope you've been paying attention to G5 here. <laughs> uh oh. In the Isle of Scaly episode, we see an old familiar face from Generation 4 make an appearance. Who was that? Uh, Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> no, no, I know. Trust me, I know this. Uh, uh, we see Spike. Agree or disagree? That is correct. Yay! And he looks totally different. And yeah. sounds yeah. totally different. Yeah. Is, is there they anyone to get Kathy Westlock? Or was is, that not the plan the whole time? Is there anyone in this room who actually liked the way Spike looked at that? I did. <laughs> I, I agree. Uh, everyone I, is I, I don't entitled make a big to their own opinions. So. <laughs> okay. it, it is okay. Okay. I mean, the uh, dragons honestly, didn't it, it, have it, pod pads; they had hooves. Honestly, <laughs> it, 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 it is what it is. It is what it is. Like you're you're all entitled to your opinions. I mean, come on, look how I'm dressed here, for God's sake. <laughs> okay, Flitter, where do you want to go? Silver Quill. All right. All right. Ah. All right, Silver Quill. In Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks, Sunset Shimmer opens up Pinky's fridge to see to her surprise, but not to ours, that her fridge is chock full of what? <laughs> this is supposed to be family friendly, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, I, I think that <laughs> I think you I have broken oh both of the hosts. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. I, I, broke, I broke Taylor. <laughs> Joe, Joe. <laughs> Joe, get up. Joe, Joe, <laughs> He's dead, Jim. Taylor, are you okay? Taylor, you want to talk about Dang it, Silver Amadella Court, not a doctor. <laughs> Yeah. It is. Just breathe, man. Just breathe. I, I do know CPR, but I'd rather not. <laughs> I asked, and you said yes. <laughs> you helped me make these questions. Can man. we get back to the game? <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> I window this time. Uh, I think yeah. I think we need to repeat the question. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Back, back to business. What was in the refrigerator? We're going to say it was mm, whipped cream. It was whipped cream is correct. Yeah. the square. I thought it was rocks. Master Code, pick a celebrity. <laughs> Keyframe. In the IDW comics, Princess Celestia was shown to be in love with who from another dimension? Oh. Well, it was obvious. 
obviously He-Man, master of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? I'll get you, He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> he has the pony. <laughs> pony. Yeah, but they, they, they broke up after uh, she saw that, you know, his sister rides a, a horse oh. that basically oh. looks like her, so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, it is the Mirror Universe Sombra. Agree or disagree? That is correct. For once I get one right. <laughs> Litter, choose a celebrity. Uh, oh, Bobby, Bobby Scott. Scott. Good block. Good block. Wow. All right. Okay. Bobby, according yes. to Box Office Mojo, the 2017 MLP movie made exactly how much money worldwide during its release? I actually know Oh, this. that is tough. It's got to be at least $3. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But, you know, I if you were at HarmonyCon this year, I believe that was actually a question uh, in the show. Oh. Two, t two years ago. Okay, so... I think it was 65.1 million. It was 60 million even. Ooh. Oh. Can't give it to him. Dang. All right, so. Yeah. Nope, nope, no one gets a square. How much you in my world? All right, Master Code, where are we going to go? Back to Bobby. All right, back to me again. Hey. For the win. For the win. For the win. Bobby. Yes. The world was thrown for a loop back in 2015 when the main six briefly appeared in a commercial during this popular sporting event. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, that's got to be WrestleMania, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was the Super Bowl. Agree or disagree? That is correct. Yay! Who was the secret square? Oh, right. The secret square was Sweetie Bloom. Oh. You are all very lucky. We've got 20 minutes left, so if we wanted to do a quick one-rounder for the next people. Yeah, All right. yeah. Trust me, let's get two new contestants. I do have another round slide. Oh, wait, hold on, if that's the case, this is the winner of our game. Hey! Winner, thank you so much. All right, please turn your seat, but sit And he'll never let us forget it. All right. So now we're going to the final round. Sit back down, Master Code. Master Code, Master back Code, to that back seat. Around. We're not done yet. Right. We're not done with you yet, boy. All right, this is going to be the final round of the game. If, if, you win, if you get it right, you'll be a champion. If you don't, you're just not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's going to be one question. Choose anyone you want to go with. All right, for the championship, AC. This popular convention in Southern California had its debut event in 2012 and its final event in 2017. In its six year span, however, it only had four events. It's funny too, I have never been to that convention before, <laughs> but I'm gonna make a guess here. Equestria LA? You are the champion, my friend! <laughs> yes. All right. Well, we got one more time for a little, like maybe one or maybe two rounds if they go really quick. If we don't spam. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So thank you very much. All right, let's get that fancy schmancy free app I downloaded just an earlier today and get the names down. All right, here we go. Rotate. <laughs> it's cosmic again. Yeah. Please uh, don't tell me that we are switching Brony. the positions of the squares. Wasteland Brony. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. And for the O's. For the O's. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Been around where it stopped. Nobody knows. Where's Fur Fletcher? Why are you wearing a lampshade on your head? 
Hey, so hold on. Quick host. question for our host. Yep. We still have a secret square prize available. I can just randomly pick someone if we want to do another secret square. You know what? Let's do it. All right. Okay, look away. Look away. Look away. Uh, hold on. I got to load up the secret square slide. Uh, I got to reload the, the presentation because that was it saved from the last round. All right. Um, today would be nice. There we go. Eeny, meeny, miny, the secret square is... Hello? There we go. Uh -oh. All right. All right. Secret square has been revealed. You may unshield your eyes. All right, Burp, which celebrity would you like to go with first? The referee, red card. <laughs> oh, red card. I hope you paid attention. Uh-oh. In the episode Sick Day, Pinkie Pie ends up getting sick and has to stay in bed while two of her friends are left at Sugar Cube Corner and have to bake Princess Celestia's cupcakes, cupcake order without her. Who were those two ponies? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to be completely serious on this. Um, um, uh, Rarity and Rainbow Dash. Agree or disagree? <laughs> oh. So how much do you trust Red Card? <laughs> that is correct. Yay! All right. Wasteland, where are we going? Let's see. Uh, sweet. Sweetie Bloom. All right. Ah, an IDW Comics question. Ooh. I can right. feel your faith in me. <laughs> All right. A website exclusive cover for issue three of the G4 comic featured Pinkie Pie, Rarity, and Spike performing this popular dance with Vinyl Scratch DJing behind them. The Macarena. <laughs> it was Gungam style. <laughs> Circle gets the square. Burp, where are we going to go here? Going back to the I'm going Nora. Nora. And she <laughs> What's the prize? What is the prize? <laughs> and how convenient, Pinkie Pie's our favorite pony. Yeah. All right. Nora. He's not a pony. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yet. Nora. Yes. Discord makes an appearance in the show in various episodes, but in fact, not for, so in Pony Life. Oh, yeah. Discord makes an appearance in the show in various episodes, but is in fact not voiced by his original VA, John Delancey. Who ends up voicing Discord? Obviously, it was my, my kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, it was Peter New. Do you agree or disagree? That is correct. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. The X has stood no chance. I'm so sorry. Wow. <laughs> Fastest round ever. Wow. So we, we've still got 15 minutes. All right, let's let's keep going. Round let's, two. Let's keep this Woo. let's keep this train going for as long as we can do it. Are we doing? Uh, are, are is that it for secret squares? Uh, Do we, we have another prize? We got, we got one, one more. more prize. Oh, I gotta right, pick okay. someone again. Okay. All right, everyone, close your eyes. All right. Um, you know this one could be interesting. The secret square is. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have so much oh, power. Right. Burb, right. Burb, you won the last. Silver Quill. Oh, 
question. Well, funny enough, this act this question actually involves me. Oh. oh. How many push-ups did Taylor do on stage? <laughs> how yeah, how obsessed with, with Starlight is Taylor? All right, so. How I many Starlights are on his jumpsuit? What? All right, so I am most known for, as the professional Starlight Glimmer fanatic in the fandom, I got my big break and becoming a community guest for a pony convention in 2021. What convention did I make my first CG appearance at? I believe that was Starlight GlimmerCon. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Uh, 2021, <coughs> I will say it was the Harmony Con. Agree or disagree? No, that's incorrect. My first appearance was Ponyville Cider Fest in 2021. It was a Charlie Con. I knew it. <laughs> I remember that one. All right. Wasteland, where are we going? Red card. Red card. <laughs> Not a moment's rest. Okay. <laughs> All right, G5 question. In My Bananas, Pip has a viral video called Pip Petal's Most Epic Fail that she shows to Sunny. How many views did she say that video received? Uh, <laughs> uh, 500 views? <laughs> oh. 13 billion. <laughs> What's the world population at that point? Yes. That's more than Girl, I have no idea. Oh, right. no. Oh, no. All right, Burb, you're up next. What celebrity are you going to go with? Yes, you can. I'm or finally th relevant. For the block. <laughs> For the block. For Nate, the block. an early meme was created in the episode Stare Master when Apple Bloom jokingly referred to Scootaloo as what animal? An emu. No, 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 no. I <laughs> I'm going to go with a turkey. Agree or disagree? It is actually a chicken. Skid, 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 loo! That is not how you call a chicken. That's a successful block. Wasteland, where are we going? Pea brain. Pea brain. Oh, no. All right. Come on, fandom oh, no. question. Ooh, here we go. This is a fandom question, but let's yes. see whose memory can go back this far. Okay. In 2011, oh. Brony musician Wooden Toaster released a song that now has over 7 million hits on YouTube based on this popular creepypasta. Oh, no. Cre creepypasta. I think. Uh, the Carrot Top song is not a creepypasta based one, is it? No. Unless the creepypasta ends with her on the moon, like, <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna say Rainbow Factory? That's correct! Yay! Yay! The problem is, I think of the living, like most Brony songs, everyone thinks of the Living Tombstone remix of it, so. <laughs> All right, all right, Burb, which celebrity would you now like to go with? Bobby C's for of the block. Of course, for the block. All right. All right. Let's see if uh, let's see if the game show host can answer a question correctly. <laughs> I believe in you, Bobby. All right. Thank you. So, in the episode "Tanks for the Memories," Rainbow Dash goes through a natural natural process that we have come to know as what? Hmm. Uh, losing BronyCon. <laughs> 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 Ripping pepperonis. Too soon. Wow. So this was about, uh, yeah, tanks for the memories. Yes. So that was tank going into hibernation. Agree or disagree? It was tank going into hibernation. Tank going into hibernation. Agree or disagree? That 
That is correct. It was actually the five stages of greed. Oh, oh, you were talking about Rainbow Dash. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Tank. All right, well. What, what was Tank oh, gets the through? square, technically. Okay, that was a technicality, because I misheard the question. All right, another block. Wasteland, where are we going? Nora. 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 Hi. Hi. Where is he? Okay. <laughs> All right, Nora. This is a not, this is a comic question. Oh a damn. Andy Price and other artists drop references to other shows and movies in certain places. What was the very first character from an outside show to get ponified in the comic? Oh, I actually uh, I actually remember this because I actually was living in Denver at the time. I am Denver. But uh, I had the, uh, the the volumes of the first ones. I bought them at an anime convention years ago, and I believe it was Mabel from Gravity Falls. Agree or disagree? Uh, agree. No, it was the Blues Brothers and Magna P.I. Oh. Oh. So that was not a block. So O gets the square. O gets the square. Oh. All right. Oh, we got double. Double, double. Herb, you got some options here. Which celebrity would you like to go with? Lightning Bliss, Lightning Bliss for the win. Oh, for the secret square! Oh no. Oh no. I am scared. Oh, oh, perfect. You got this, you got this. Or hold it. Oh, there are people staring at me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. This is a TF2 analysis anarchy print that is uh, original style by me. It is not show style, it is original style, and I'm kind of going to be going with that for the rest of the series. So this is the first of its kind. This is the first of its kind. It's their first debut, and it happens to be at Emberfree. So yay! Um, and you also get a, um, what do we call this? This is a side pack for Prance cards. It's my own little rainbow lightning bolt symbol of Bliss and her three other side characters, which are Euphoria, Thunderblight, and Twink. So yeah. And yes, the, by the way, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw your little, it is signed by myself, the wonderful, hilarious keeper. And God help you, Silver Quill. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you come back to TF2, I'm redoing your vector set, and you're going to walk and you're going to run. <laughs> I'm going to run straight into a building. Probably that, too. <laughs> so, yeah, not only is this secret square, this is also for the win. Yes. Oh. So, so Blissey. What significance does 10, 10, 10 have to the MLP world? What? What significance <laughs> does 10, 10, 10 have to, have to do with the MLP world? I am totally blanking. Yeah, what, what canon is this? G1, G4, what? It's a fandom question. A fandom question? Oh, yes. Oh. Making up here. I don't know what this <laughs> is. <laughs> what, what the flop is this? A 10 10 10? Well, it's definitely not the 6 2 1. <laughs> <laughs> Which you all should be participating in. Okay, we ignored the 6 We don't, yeah, 6 2 1 is over. 10 overrated. hours of sleep, 10 meals, and 10 showers. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, some of us might need 10 showers. That is actually correct. It was it was actually October 10th, 2010, the day the first episode of Friendship Magic was aired. 
Secret Square and game win. All right, so you win that prize. Good for you, congratulations. And I think this is where we're going to uh, go to the last final round. So Wasteland Brony, thank you so much for being a part of this. All right, Ferb. Right. Okay. Hold on, hold on. We've already claimed one champion. Let's see if we can get a second. Are you ready? Choose your celebrity. Red, you are a popular man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm the, I'm the, I'm Whoopi Goldberg here, who, because she, she's, she's always in the middle when Tom Bergeron always goes. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, red card. We all know the term brony, and for years it's become integrated in pop culture the world over. But the world, but the word itself was first used and gained traction on what website? <laughs> it gained traction on X. <laughs> no. It's Twitter. I, I, it's, it's joke. No, no, I know this. Uh, uh, this is 4chan. Ferb, agree or disagree? That is correct! You got it! You got it! All right, where are our other champions? Where's the other champion? Get over here, Give Tom. it up for them! <laughs> All right, I think that is going to wrap up this panel. How do you think we did? We want to see this again next year. That surprises me. <laughs> wait, wait, we're planning a next year? I mean, I'm not going to get called back for that. I'm only in the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, right. so none of that. That is none so not true. That. Okay, everyone, give a round of applause for our stars. <laughs> all right, and thank you all for coming out to the debut event for Bridal and Squares. Enjoy the rest of your Everfree. <laughs>